Hello, Amanda. How are you? How are you today? I'm getting the last little links and everything sent on the page and all of that stuff. I was just saying, I know, it's like, here it's rainy and sort of cold, so it's like too yucky to really do anything. So, we've just been hanging out. So that's what we've been doing. And then we're going to work on some of our extra little thingies today. And I'd like to get it finished. I'm so excited. I love the way it's turned out. So when I get excited about a journal, I just want to keep working on it. Have you been watching any good people on YouTube? Hi, everybody who's coming in. I see your little numbers jump up. I'm going to wait for everybody to come in for a little while. Oh, yeah. Where do, you, where do you go to the live auction at? There's so many people that have different ones. All right, that's fine. I don't even know what that is. Try not to get in front of the camera. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones out there that are doing auctions now. I know um I do Patty does, Keisha does, um oh yeah, nice. Hi, Kathy Jean. Everybody's just lurking today. Nobody's talking. Yeah, it's, um, if you look, I think it's Keisha's Creations is her channel name. And it's, but it's not K-E, it's K-I. K-I-E-S-A-H. Uh, and I think it has S on it and then it's Creations. I don't know if the Wi-Fi is bad today, or it seems like there's a little bit of a lag, so I don't know. Yeah, she does some really nice stuff. Hi, Susan. How are you? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is the second night in a row I've been yawning, and I don't know why. Yeah, YouTube has been having issues, so be prepared. If it does happen to drop, I will come back on, but YouTube sometimes does that. It's raining here too, Kathy Jean, and it's cold, and it was really nice and warm. Like, you didn't need a coat or anything, and then it rained, and then it became real wet and chilly. So, yeah, the rain is crazy right now. 
Sorry about that. It does seem like it's sort of laggy and jumpy today, so hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't know. It seems to be coming and going, so we'll see. Yeah, it does, Kathy. That's the only nice thing about it. And it seems to be so bad this year. I know allergies have been horrid. <sighs> I'm going to be yawning again tonight, guys. I am so sorry. I've been playing in my washies, finding some pretty washies. There's so much decoration in here, though. It's sort of, I don't want to take away from it too much. So I wanted to do, I did a little heart and a circle and bows. And then there's a little rose one, which is one of my favorites. I don't know if I can get it to focus in or not. But it's one of my favorites. It just has a variety of pinks in it. And then this one just has, it seemed really vintage to me. It just has. Um, sort of like a little X. It has little X's, pink X's all over it. So I thought that was sort of cute. So those are the ones I'm going to include in my journal. Usually I do different ones, but there's the pages and stuff on here have so much going on that I thought a more basic color would go with it better. So we'll do that. And I did. I apologize, you guys. I am so sorry. It just hit me all of a sudden, and then it's like just not stopping now. And I did find my cards that go with it perfectly, and it's a nice pretty pink. It looks peachy there, but it's actually pink. I mean, it's the same color pink that is in the Jane Eyre's name on the front. So it does seem a little laggy today. Um, so if it gets really bad, I may exit out and come back in. See if it helps some. So... We'll see. And I did get some new laces in today. Let's share my laces with you. I got in. They're so pretty. And I got them off of an individual who just sold them to me because they like me, but they don't normally sell. But there's a gorgeous little scallop, which I love. I love that. I'm like, even these individually are just so cute. Um, but together they're just gorgeous. And there's, well, she sent me what she had left of that. Okay. Is everybody gone or coming back is, are we dropping off? Do I need to restart? Is it coming in? Is it really laggy? If you guys can just let me know. I know. I love it. It's so gorgeous. Kathy Jean, are you getting reception okay? Okay. Awesome. I Well, I don't know if it just dropped off in the moment or people just disappeared to do something or they haven't come in yet or what the deal is. It just seems slower today. And there was quite a bit of this. I think there was three yards or four yards. So I was happy with it. But yeah, I'm like, this is going to be so gorgeous in journals. So I was super excited. Well, everyone I got, I really liked that she sent me. We'll give everybody some time. Who all's in here? Everybody do a shout out of where you're from.
Well, it just keeps going. Hi, Miss Mindy. How are you today? We had a big a bit of a lag, it seemed like. Hi, Kathy. But it seems like it's, you know. Yeah, it does. Hello, hello, Catherine Hawks. I haven't seen you in forever, woman. What have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. Have you been busy? Finally getting to the end. And we'll give everybody a couple minutes because I know everybody was here and then a bunch of people disappeared. So I'm not sure the people aren't having internet issues or YouTube is having issues. They have um, messed up twice today and just lost everything. So I got that one and then this one I'll try to keep it from unraveling and I got this one which is a nice it's a pretty beige color um, a real pretty beige creamy color not beige cream it's a real pretty cream color um, let me see yeah, yeah you can see sort of a real nice creamy color and so I really liked it. I thought it was real pretty. And they're all antique vintage. So now I'm like, I'm going to have to make a new journal so I can use them all up. So there was that one. Let's see. There was that one. The little scallop one. I am too, Catherine. It is one of my favorites that I've made. And then she sent me this one, which I really like. It's white. I think it's so delicate. So I love it. So she sent me that one. I was excited to get that. And then she sent me this one. I'm not going to completely unravel because there's um, but it's a well, where'd my little card go that I had? I just had it. What did I do with it? It's a real pretty cream, too. And I love this little scallop. I think this is so cute. They look like little baby doilies. <laughs> Which I know sounds retarded, but crazy. But I love it. So, and there's supposed to be four yards there, but that's not four yards. I can tell by looking. That's maybe a yard and a, four inches. Yeah, maybe a yard and four inches, but that's fine. Because I know sometimes, you know, you get stuff coming and going and gets it crazy. Well, hi, Wendy. Got your daughter there. Awesome. I know, Catherine. I love it. It is one of my favorites I've ever gotten. All the cats are here. I know they come in like by groves. But I love how delicate that is. It's just so teeny tiny. And it's just so teeny tiny little filet crochet. I didn't think you can see it. Oh, me too, Wendy. And then she sent me this, you guys. And I like to literally just die when I opened it. Because she's like, well, you'll like this. Look at this. It is so pretty. And I just love it. I think it is so cute with the little pickets in between the scallops. I mean, seriously. I love it. I mean, look at this. Like, it's so cute. I mean, you can just see it hanging off the edge. Isn't it pretty? I know, Catherine, right? I'm like, that just so, so is going to look gorgeous hanging off the edge. So I'm excited about it. It was probably my favorite that I got, but I like the little, I like the little cream scallops too, because I thought they were cute. And see, they look. It sort of shows the color a little bit better with those. And then there's the solid cream one. I'll try to lay them out side by side so you can see them. And then there's the white, which, I mean, the white I liked. I like the white because I can always go in and dye it if I want to, which makes it really nice. Oh, awesome, Kath. 
I have a ton more. I'm telling you, girl. And then I got, I loved, I loved this one. This one I showed earlier. I don't know if all of you guys were in here when I showed it. And it's so cute. So I got three little scallopy ones. I mean, seriously, I was in love. So I'm just excited. I'm like, oh, I need to make a journal right now that I can use all these in. Because, I mean, these are just, uh, I just love them. And um, let's see, this one, this one, and this one are all white. So I can dye them to whatever color I want them to be, which I love. And then this one's the cream and the cream. And I never mess with my creams. I like the cream color. So, because I have white and cream, but then I like being able to dye them and getting those other colors. It just adds another level to it. No, 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 Catherine. Um, it was actually from a friend of mine that she doesn't normally sell anything. Um, I may, Kathy Jean, I may not be able to resist. Um, she doesn't usually sell anything. But she had some extras, and she asked me if I was interested in them. And so, of course, you know, you've seen them. Wouldn't you have grabbed them? So I grabbed them, and so I'm super stoked. But, yeah, so, and I needed them. I was getting, I mean, I have a ton of lace, but, you know, those really, really gorgeous ones like that, you can't really pass up when you get them. So we have been working on our journal, and if you haven't seen it, there's the spine and the front. And I love the little bows. It seems to me it's so Jane. Like, you know, there's just that. In the back, of course, there's the top. And let me turn it this way. Because we got our little bookmark. We did a, a sitting bookmark. April's in the house. You missed the April. I said all my pretty laces and you weren't here. And all my little flags and all the little laces down the side. Which I love. I love, 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 love. So, and let me see if I can tilt it. And I don't try to put a whole lot on the bottom because I don't like a lot hanging out. I'll put a little bit through there, but not a lot. And we have all our little dangly charms. There's butterfly wings and some gems and a little carnation and a little key with a little crystal in the middle. So there's different. Exactly. Well, and I was thinking about using some of the cream, maybe in three little rows across the bottom, just to give it a little bit on the bottom. Or maybe on the top. That cream would look really pretty on the top. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Seriously, April, look at this. I mean, get out. It's cream. Isn't that pretty? And I got a white one. And my favorite. Isn't that pretty? I mean, look at that. I know, right? That would look pretty on the bottom. <gasps> and it only is two little thingies. Maybe I could do some of this in the green to put across the bottom. Put green on the bottom and pink on the side and cream on the top. I should have mixed them in together, I guess. I could put some down the side. Do like, it only takes three little scallops to go down the side. So I don't know. And then there's some cream and some white. So I may put some cream through here and then I can run cream scallops across the bottom with some of this pink lace across the bottom. And then there's so much going on at the top. I'm not sure I really want to do anything up there. Hey, Connie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know, right, April? I loved it. And then, well, there was... Let me pull it out. Then there's a white one, which I actually like. It's very basic, but it's really cute. And then there is a cream one. <laughs> I actually was talking to her and um, she's going to get back with me. I have some other really cute cream ones too that I could use. Like this one's really cute. Um, and she's going to try to see if she can, if she has it um, to pull up and see where she got it from and try to give me the information. So if I do get that, then I will be definitely ordering some um, because I would love to try to. These may be in a grab bag if I have leftovers, you know, or whatever. But to sell these outright right now, they're brand new to me. So no, <laughs> they're brand new to me. Um, let's see. 
was trying to think if I got some. Um, I got some others. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to add a little bit more to here. I do want to put. Oopsie. Let's see. Where's my other doily? Where's my other doily? It's hiding. It's back here. Oh, I love lace. Well, she, I lucked out. She contacted me about it. But we have her two doilies, so I want to do something with that. So I thought about maybe putting some doily hanging from the bottom just because I think it would look cute. But I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. So we are working with our femur basis, so I do want to, you know, do a little bit more. Oh, get glue. Sometimes it glues together like that. Um, and we do have all our lace down the side, so I may put some more lace. Um, I do have, you know, some pages in between. You know, so I could dye some and do some green and then do some cream. Definitely some cream in there to add to the side, I think. And maybe some of the little cream across the bottom. Maybe the pink and the cream. Maybe stick with pink and cream because we have the green on the front and on the back. So I think it sort of encases it really well. Um, so I think of the pink and cream in between since we have the green on the outside and sort of through the middle. So we shall see. But right now I am going to work on, I have some, I want to make some additional pockets um, or like corner tucks to put in that type of thing so we have more space because you know you always need more space um and i have a lot of pages like this where it has the lace where i think just i'm going to do some of my index card pockets like you know right there would be perfect for a pocket right over top of it and it's not going to hurt the lace any which is why i put the lace in first um because i don't like putting my pockets down and then having the lace come across and sort of like block the pocket so we will be doing some of that. I do want to, I've got a couple of these cards. Um, two I'm going to decorate and one I'm going to do with washi. So I will start with the washi. And this is just a plain clear, like a clear white washi. But I don't know if you guys can see it. It has, oh, it's not going to, sometimes this camera drives me bananas. Um, it's just little X's. So it's just sort of really cute. So let's see. I'm going to turn this over this way. So I thought I would just, you know, put some different little washies on here. Straight, not crooked. Which is easier said than done. And then I always put my part that it goes over on the back. It's just some kind of. anal thing about it being and mom won't be on here tonight um they are actually they had to um well we're on the state line but they had to run out of state and do some stuff um family stuff with everything going on so they're doing that kind of stuff but i mean they were very safe they've got my oldest with them and you know they're being very safe you know loading up on gas here driving straight to where they need to be and you know not a lot of stopping in between and all that stuff so they're not like catching and moving things around so there's that one and I like going from the biggest to the smallest that's just my anal little way Ooh, whoops I just flipped it across the table that's my goofy little way and you guys probably <laughs> I thought about this the other day one of my daughters said something they're like you probably need to tell them that you wear sweaters <laughs> I do wear sweaters um I wear pullover sweaters because I like freeze all the time. I know, April, I know. 
Um, that's why they're being extremely careful and cautious um, and not stopping, you know, anywhere in between. My dad has an older brother down there that um, it, it's sort of one of those. They actually went to Tennessee. Um, sort of one of those things they needed to go down. Um, and it may, you know, that's what happens sometimes. So that's what they're doing. But they are doing good. But I talked to them today and I have their, they have uh, Pomeranian pups. Well, not pups, but they've got Pomeranian dogs. They'll always be puppies to me, but they have uh, two. They have one that's a mini and one that's a standard Pom, Pomeranian um, that they have. And I have them. So, yeah, you know, as much as people... You know, we want to go, well, you know, you shouldn't travel and all that. There's some things you just, you can't, you don't have an option. It's, you just do it. And so, see, I don't know if you can see, there you can see it better. See the little X's and the little flowers. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's see. Um, And then these, I'll go from darkest to lightest, I guess, since they're the same size. Yeah, you just have to do what you have to do. And, you know, as the year goes on, there's going to be times you're going to have to, you know, travel out of state to do this or that or the other. And you just do it, you know, with the most care that you can. And that's what they're doing. So they came past my house and dropped the pups off. And of course I got to see my son, which was the first time that I have. Yes, exactly. And I got, um, I got to see my son was the first time I've seen him in, um, three and a half weeks maybe because he's been with them. So we've been, you know, remotely talking via text and phone. And of course she's on YouTube all the time. So, um, you know, trying to stay the distance away. So yeah, that's what you have to do. Say your prayers and, you know, do the best you can to be cautious and, you know, hope things work out for the best. And, it, and if you're taking precautionary measures, you know, it's, well, like I had to go, I didn't have an option. I had with four kids. Well, I have three right now. Cause you know, my oldest is with my mom and dad, but, um, with three kids in the house, it's horrid trying to keep up as far as like groceries and stuff like that. Cause you know, you're used to stopping. My husband lives or lives, huh? My husband lives with me, but, um, where my husband works, he literally, literally is across the street from Walmart in his office building that the building that he works in and um, the factory and offices and all that where he works is directly across the street from Walmart. So if we need something, um, oh, thanks, dear. Thanks, April. So, you know, if we need something after work, you know, during the week, he just runs by and grabs it. Well, We've been trying not to do that and only, you know, go once a week if we have to or once every two weeks or whatever. Well, I had to go today. I mean, because, you know, bread, milk. I mean, what do you do when you're out of those things? I mean, well, I mean, I could bake bread because I bake bread, but, you know, milk and stuff like that. And he's been carrying water to work, like bottled water, because he doesn't want to drink out of the, the water machines or the water fountains at work where everybody's at. Um, especially with, you know, them having issues with it there too. So we ran into Walmart Well, he came home from work and then we ran in and I was um, amazed. I mean, almost appalled at the amount of people running around that had no mask, no, no gloves. I mean, if you're going to use hand sanitizer and wash your hands and do all that, you know, you might be okay with gloves, but definitely you need a mask on. I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere without a mask. That's just me. But, um, yeah, and there was just people everywhere and not just people. I mean, there was like babies in car seats, you know, car seats in the carts with no masks on, no, no nothing over their face. I wouldn't even take my baby in. I would be, I mean, I realize there's cases where you don't have choice, but put some over that baby's face or something. I don't know. It was just, it was pretty crazy to me because I'm just leery of that. I mean, that's just. We just keep taking the biggest precautions we can because there's a lot of us and, you know, 
things could get crazy. I mean, we get the flu and pass it around 15 times before we get all over it. And we don't need anything worse than that. Okay. So I've got my washi and I did some. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You know, and if you want to put yourself at risk at home, then you do it. But yeah, me too, April. It makes me so angry. Um, so I always like to put my washi sort of towards the top. Um, so it doesn't have that. If you put it in a pocket, it doesn't tend to catch so much. So we have that and I have these and I'm actually going to decorate these. Um, well, okay. Not so much decorate them, but I want to add some stuff to them, but I'm going to move on to my pocket. I want to do my pocket. Oh, uh Oh, Lori, where's Lori? Lori's not here to see Lori. <gasps> okay. So here's where I'm sitting. So let me, what do I do with my block? We'll see you guys. That's what I'll put my scissors up there for right now. Okay, so I want to decorate this. Let me see what I have. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody did, Marty. To the corner, April. No, I'm just joking. I dropped my pocket. I know. That doesn't surprise me any. This was um, this piece here. I actually dyed pink. I don't know if you can tell it's dyed pink. It was actually a shirt. Um. <laughs> and I cut it all into pieces and dyed it. So it's a, well, let's see. Here's my piece of paper. It's a really pretty pink, almost like a baby pink. So I'm going to use that on my pocket. You know, it was. It was like one of those shirts you like pull over top of whatever. And I don't know if Carol's watching or not. If Carol, if you happen to be watching, um, let me know if we got everything straightened out. Carol kept trying to comment and stuff and it kept knocking her out and I had to go in and for whatever reason, YouTube had uh, like basically locked her account on mine. It was really weird. So I don't know if like they've been glitching and having issues and yep, I dyed it pink. It was white and I dyed it. I dyed it pink. What did it nice and pink. I know they used to do that. My nieces and nephews did that whole, you dropped your pocket thing or you got something on your shirt and then they flip you in the nose or whatever. They were always doing silly stuff like that. Of course there's a pass all of them cause there's, um, let's see one, two, I have to think about this. There's four boys and a girl. I had to actually think about it. That's crazy. Of course they're all, well, well, all but one of them's grown now. One of them's still at home. The rest of them are all gone and married. And I am a great aunt. Let's see. Three, six, seven, eight times. Eight great niece and nephews. A whole bunch of them. Okay, I have this. And I actually think that I want to put... I want to put some green across there. I think the green would look really pretty. And that was sort of pick green up on that page since we have all the pink with the lace. Oh, Catherine! How fun! I 
love babies. Oh, I tell you, I did. Um, I'm trying to think when it was. It's probably been, oh, wow. It's been really close to a year now, maybe, if not longer. I don't know. I'd have to actually go look. Um, I did a, a girl uh, baby journal, and I used Sherry Zimer's kit from Studio 28E. Um, she has a little girl and a little boy's kit, and they are just precious. I'm telling you, they are precious. Um, yeah, Lori's been having headaches and a lot of stress at work, so I know they've been giving her some mess at work, so maybe that's just why she's not here. Maybe she's at work. Um, but yeah, I actually did a, a, a journal and I did a, vi a flip through video of it. I think it's in my flip through videos. Um, but it was a design team project. Oh, Lori's here. We were just talking about you, girl. But, um, yeah, I used a kit from Studio 28E. It is darling. A little girl's kit and there's a little boy's kit. They are just precious. And they're not really super expensive to buy. But, oh, my gosh, they are just gorgeous. And I actually did mine. I bought the kit and did mine in, like, um, maybe, like, three or four hours. Yay, Lori, we're so glad to see you. We was getting worried. We know you've been having headaches and stuff. Okay, guys, where is that? Where is my little lace? I have little pink lace that I wanted to use. Here it is. Because it's. Oh, did you, Edwin? They are gorgeous. They are lovely. I seriously, I made um, the little girl one twice because I happened to get two great. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. That's a passel. Um, because I got two great grand nieces, like within like three weeks of each other. So I actually made two of them and the little kits are darling. They are worth looking. It is studio 28 E Sherry Zimer. I, I tell you guys, they are gorgeous. And I did the, my cover that I did. Um, I used not the craft paper, but the, um, it's like masking paper you put down for paint. It's, um, oh, yeah, it's masking paper that painters put down. Oh my gosh. They're so, her kits are gorgeous. She does a really good job on them. Okay. So have the hot let me see what I have because I know I had let me see what I have I'm looking guys because I know I have a little butterfly that would look so cute. I'm looking through my Oh, Kath, I am so sorry. That is just, I don't think there's anything worse in the world. That's so hard to go through. I know we've had with my nieces and nephews, there's been a couple little, you know, different things. And, you know, some you get almost all the way there and things just don't happen the way they're supposed to. It's just, it's a bad situation. 
And I am putting a little bit of the green cheesecloth in the background. And then throwing the little butterfly down. And then I'll see if I need to cut or adjust any. Because, I mean, I know it is going to be sort of over there in the corner. You know what? I think I don't want to put that there. I think I want to put that on a page that maybe doesn't, maybe, maybe there. Yeah, I think I like that with the light colored lace on the side a whole lot better. Oh, Kath. Yeah, poor thing. I just, oh. And these are just, um, I just, when I coffee dye my paper, I take a lot of index cards. I always dye a bunch of index cards because I find that, especially if you're doing, you know, a five by five, eight and a half, you know, size, that the index cards just make perfect pocket sizes. And I mean, I could have just done the fabric, but I sort of like having that backing for support. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off over here just towards the side just because I don't want it to flip up. Oh, I'll let that hang out. That doesn't really bother me that much. Okie dokie. So I will put my little washi card in there. And let's see. I'm going to use that one as a tuck with the flower because I like that. But after I get to look and, and I use the tattered rose for this, it's almost too peach, I think, for me. I think it's just, I think I'm going to have to keep that one for something else. But I have a bunch of others, so we are good. But I got this one, and I like it. It's got the little white flower on it. I think it'll fit in there, and it'll look really good with the green, although I think it's try to put it over here. Try putting this closer over here and see if it'll fit a little bit better. Nope, I'm gonna use that as an outside tuck. Too much. I know. Don't you guys start crying on me because I cry. You don't even know. I'm like the Hallmark crier person. I'm like the person that cries at Hallmark shows or whatever. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I'm going to take the ribbon out of this because I don't like how the tattered rose turned out. I was hoping the tattered rose would go really good and I just do not like the looks of it with this kit. Let's see. Oh, you know, I could do this, that little tuck journal thing. That would be cute. Let me put this to the side. Let me grab some paper. And I do have some... Yeah, see, that's me. Lori, I just used a Lori. You weren't here. I was showing it earlier. Look, there she is. She's sitting on her prop. Yeah, I'm like really bad. I'm like a Hallmark person that cries like, oh, you know what? I have the perfect piece to go in there because we did this already. Let me ink it up. This was the other end, the other side of this page that we separated when we did the other little 
I'm serious. I think I can make a whole entire kit like this that was different on every page just with the flowers and stuff on it. I love this page. And I love pages that just sort of go with everything. Yeah, see, that's me. Like, I watch Hallmark movies and I start crying. Or any kind of true stories or... I'm horrid about it. So, you can put this in here. Um, I think I want to put a pull tab of some sort on there. Maybe, no, maybe not. I don't think I will. Just because it's sticking down in that pocket and that's going to add a lot of bulk to it. And then see that slides right in there. And that's pretty cool too because you can put any kind of little, you know, little odds and ends, tuckies, photos, you know, that kind of thing in there. So there's that. And I like that. Let's see. I have that one. I'm glued together. Okay, let's go back into this one back here and see what's going on. I know there's some empty pages. I know I have to fix that because when I was sewing my sewing apparatus, my sewing machine. Um, you guys are so funny. I was trying to read your little comments. Um, actually, you know what? I have this doily that we painted. It's still crinkly. It's so crinkly. And I think, let me see. Depending on what's on this side of it, if I put it in there flat, I think I can fold it right over the top. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, I'm just trying to make sure I was on camera. That's me, Marty. If, if somebody even talks about me crying, I'll start crying. Um, and I can do that. And that sort of does a little additional tab. So I can actually put, you know, maybe another piece of lace there or something and snip it as a tab. Or, um, let's see. I actually think, let me do that. Let me do this. Yeah, I cried everything. I'm just an extremely emotional person. If you get me upset, I cry. I cry when I'm mad. I cry when I'm sad. I cry, cry when I'm glad. I'm just a cry baby. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I think... Okay, yeah, that'll work. I'm going to pull this this way. Um, oh, great. This is what my husband always says. If you hear a guy say, here's my beer, hold this, you know, it's going to be an issue. You know, let me... Use my art glitter glue to dry a lot faster. If I can get it to come out because it's being silly today. It's been silly all day. It hasn't wanted to work all day. I don't know why. That's me, Lori. If I start crying when I'm mad, then you just you, you just need to walk away. Walk away. It is going to be your safest route. Okay, let's see. I'm going to cut off a little bit of this. Use a little bit of my new lace. 
a little bit of a green ribbon. Let me find Yeah, my husband knows if I start crying, you just leave the room, come back at a different time. And now I have to find my stapler. His grown legs and walked off. And I cannot find it now. Hold on, let me take a minute. I found it! Buried. Oops. Oh, and I forgot. I meant to use this one. Um, I'll put it on in a minute. I want to use this one washi that I have. It's so pretty, but it's was part of a collection, so I still have it in the box where, like, the collection goes together because it's my favorite. Probably not my favorite one of them. Oops, except for that one I just rolled across the floor. I like instant coffee. You have to be aware though, because if you don't get it all mixed up, then it gets all crazy. Yeah. See, look at that one. Can you guys see that one? It is so perfect. And I had it there and I meant to just pull it out and I forgot. Okay. So, and that doily will help add more sturdiness um, to where that page was ripped. And, ooh, Lori, that sounds good. I'd take some of those. We were at the store today, and my husband found chocolate chip uh chips ahoy chocolate chip cookies but they were coconut chocolate chip if you like coconut and chocolate chip oh my gosh get you some they were addictive so see that strengthened that and it sort of gives it a tab look um so i will go into my center one and find my center page about here Let's say, uh, yep, I like this side better. And this one I'm going to trim off just a wee bit. I do, um, Kath. It's sort of one of those things. Either you will either use it or you won't. Now, I had it. I bought a bunch and I used some when I first got it. And then I put it in a drawer and it stayed there. And it stayed there. I mean, I'm talking for a lot. Um, then I went and I bought, and I don't know if I showed you guys before how I do my, how I store my washi. It's a mess right now because I was just pulling out of it, but hold on. Okay, this is one of my trays, and I just threw all this back in here. But I actually use one of the black, like, Rubbermaid um, silverware drawers you get from Walmart for, like, a little bit of nothing. And mine's a mess right now, like I said, because I was just pulling out of it. So I'm trying to rearrange it so you guys can see what it looks like when it's not all messy. But it's probably not going to happen either because... Anyway, usually it's all stacked in here nice and neat, like these rows. Um, and it does, I love how it sets. And I just leave this on top of my bookshelf. It's directly behind me. So I tend to use it all the time because it's out. If I put it in a drawer, then I never use it because I forgot about it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I should show you what my mom got me. My mommy loves me. Where's my page? Okay, there it is. Whew. Okay, let me cut off a little bit more and get some more green here really fast and do this tab. And I'll show you what my mom got me and then I'll move to the other page. And I know we're bouncing around a lot today. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can do that too. I like the, I really, I've tried a ton of different things. Um, I had them on uh, a rail. I had them on one of the stand-up things. I mean, I've had done it a bunch of ways and I've never used them because I, you know, it's just too much effort to take them on and off and all that and everything else. In there, I just pull it out. When I get done with it, I shove it back in and it's good to go. Um, so, you know, it makes it a lot easier for me. And because it's easier to do, I use it more. Um, where if, you know, if it's in a drawer or in a box or something and I got to open it up and pull it out, I, I don't, I'm sort of an out of sight, out of mind girl. So like, and I'm just attaching this with the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. So there's my second little tab. And then on my very first one, I'll go down into the bottom. And then we'll just have a little tab on everything. Oh, really, Lori? I like them. Um, the only thing that I do is I do make sure that I use, I when I go to put it down, I put art glitter glue down because I just don't trust it. Um, just because, you know, it is washy. It's not meant to be permanent. It's supposed to be removable. That's what it's made for. And some of them will be more permanent. Some of them won't. Um, you know, so if you, they're really great to use on flippins. But now I tell you, my passion, if I'm going to use a washi, I love making the fabric washi. I just love it. Um, I love the way that it does. I like the way that it turns out. I like the way that it looks. Just across the board. So that's what I, what I like to do. I actually am working on a prototype of an ephemera case to store your ephemera in because my folders just aren't big enough. And I mean, I have tags and pockets and this and that and the other. And, you know, I just really don't have enough room in the ephemera folders. So I'm actually working on a prototype of a washi holder or a washi storage. Oh, yeah, Edwin, that would be great. Oh, see, I don't have any piano roll boxes, though, Lori. You have something you want to swap? Hey, you want to swap a Lori for a piano? And you got a piano roll? Yeah, that's what I do. If I don't, if it's not a side out of mine, I don't remember. Do you have piano rolls you want to trade? Do you have any piano paper? Or just the boxes? Oh, nice, Catherine. Okay, so there's my... I have three little tabs. So I've got my little tabbies all stuck out. And this one I may end up making bigger where it sticks out. I think I made these a little... I think I made these a little... No, maybe that's just... It's just that... Around. So I got my little tabs. I may add maybe another one in each one just because I love the look of tabs on it. Ooh. Ooh. Piano paper and a box. And I'll trade you a Lori. Just let me know how long you want it to be. Yes, 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 honey. I will. I will swap you. I'm going to put this down here. Although it goes against my grain because it's wider. So it should be on the top for me. But I absolutely love this washi. It's adorable. Ooh. Yep, see, I'm into the swapping thing now. I think the swapping thing is so cool. And I usually do about six wraps because I figure this is a playing card is just about two inches. So that's about 14 inches or so. <laughs> I know, 
but I love chunky journals. I don't like them little flat journals. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute while I'm doing that and show you. My mom had to go to the dollar store before they left. And so she got me some purple lace, which is, it's pretty. I mean, my dollar store didn't have any purple. They have like cream and more like plain color ribbons. But I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty little purple lace. Let me, what did I do with my piece of paper? My piece of paper's gone. So, I mean, it's a pretty little lace for a buck. So she got that. And then she found some stickers for me. And she grabbed them lately. It was little butterflies. And little green butterflies. So there's green and yellow tone, which I like. And they're like sort of sparkly and three-dimensional. I don't really care for the glittery sparkly part behind them. I mean, you can see that glittery sparkly. It looks very, I don't know. They, it reminds me of like a teenager bedazzle type look. And I don't really care for that. But the little, let me see if I can open them. Yes, they can come out. The little butterflies are like clear acetate. So I'm like, oh, I could just pop them off and use them. So I was excited about that. Oh, and she got me chocolate with coconut, which is my favorite. She did. She got me chocolate coconut mac macaroons. Yeah, see, I don't really care for that whole bedazzled glitter, teenage, shimmery. I like glitter. I that I don't like that, that like disco ball type. Of like, well, you know, that's what I was saying about doing was covering it with black. But I sort of like having just the ear, the, the see-through. Sort of that three-dimensional. So I don't know. I'm going to have to play with them and see. She knows I'm getting ready to do my travel club thing that I'm releasing this summer. So she did grab me some travel stickers. How cute, right? I know. So cute. I love this little balloon. Edwin, that would go good in your journal. So, I thought that was really cute. She got those. And she found these nature ones. I say lovely. Look at the little jar with the little flowers and the little bird in the cage. And the little wooden block. They're so cute. Yeah, Marty, that's how I am. I like to do my own glitter. And she got these. And they, like, are embossed on the edges. I don't know if you guys. Oh, there you can see where it's raised and embossed. And I love these, like these little things with the water in them where you can see the water line and stuff. No, April, if you go, yes, hologram was the word I was looking for, Edwin. Thank you. Uh, April, if you go and you look in the announcements on the Facebook page, I try to keep everything important in the announcements. There is a video about um, the travel club that's coming in the summer. And I love these. I mean, look at that. Look at the little daffodils. They're like so perfect. And they've got the raised edge to them too, where it's all embossed. I know. Look at these. Look, let me get down here and see. They're so realistic. And they've got that embossed edge where they're all raised. So you get that 3D. See? Look at the 3D effect. They're awesome. I love them. And then look at these. These are so cute and they're black. You don't hardly ever find anything that's like has the black backgrounds. And she got this one, which I think is really pretty. And it's got, she got them because of the blue. That's the same color in my craft room. That's like my favorite color. And I love these dark ones. And then she got me these garden ones. Look, it's a garden hat. Look, and there's a basket with flowers. They're so cute. And these are like all 3D. So they're like raised. Well, let me see. Yeah, you really can't tell. I'd have to take them out so you can see. But yes. So I was so happy with mom. She made my day. And she got me chocolate coconut macaroons. You guys are so funny. She got the Russell Stover ones. I'm sure they were on clearance because, you know, they were Easter. But hey, it's chocolate. I don't care. Speaking on clearance, I forgot. That doily is coming in handy.
check your Walmarts because they have uh, mine has a lot of stuff in clearance on sale. And I got these, the big glitter containers that they have, which I love. They do have the indent in the bottom, so I mean they're not as big as they look, but I like them because they stack, so they take up less space. This is called Chocolate Diamond. I don't know if you can see that. I love it. 75 cents. These were like three or four bucks. And I got them for 75 cents. I got both of them because I'm like, can anybody say steampunk glitter? I mean, seriously, get out. That is just all over steampunk. 75 cents a container. And I got two of them because I love steampunk. So I'm like, oh, I'll go through these. I love it. So I was excited about finding, I did find those, but that was about the only thing that I found today. Walmart just wasn't speaking to me today. Okay. So I did want to do a belly band. Um, let's see where do I want? I don't want to do it over here because that bird's there. Let's go back up towards the front. And this is what I do. What color is it? It is called, um, and it is 2.5 ounces. So, I mean, it's a pretty big amount. It is called Chocolate Diamond is what this called. And it's just, I mean, I don't know if you guys can truly see the color. Let me see. Let me pull up my phone and see if you guys can see. Because sometimes I can tell. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, you get that steampunky look to it. But, yeah, it's chocolate. See? I mean, you can see. It's just awesome. And April didn't even respond, and she's my big steampunk girl. You got 17 set. Whoa. What is 17 set? I know, Marty, isn't it? It is awesome. Okay, so I want to... I wasn't sure when I made this if I wanted to use it as a belly band or if I wanted to use it, like, as an individual bird. Um, and I wasn't sure. But I think if I trim this down right to the edge of the little bird. Oh, I forgot I did that with this. You know, I may use this as, on the bottom. Let me ink it up on the edges over here. It's not exactly straight, but I know I love it. I may use it as a bottom. And I wanted to use it as a tuck, as a belly band, but I did put the gluey back on the back of it. Oh, I know, right, April? Oh, stamp it up sets for five dollars each. Yeah, that's a good buy, dear. Shoo. I have a cousin. I have multiple cousins um, that are in Stampin' Up that sell it, and they. Ha I signed up a couple years back, and like maybe four or five and got a ton of stamps, you know, with the little intro deal and all that. And they keep trying to get me to sign back up, but I don't know anybody who really, anybody around here to me locally that really is interested in stamping up or any of their stuff. Um, so I do use a lot of stamping up stuff cause I have it. Um, I'm not sure if I want, you know what I think, hold on, hold on. I think that would make a cute pocket top. I do. Okay, guys. Oh, nice. I stopped at the yard sale last year. Um, and a lady was selling off scrapbook stuff in... This lady lived by herself and she had like a three bedroom house. Every single room of her house was nothing but scrapbooking stuff. I kid you not like to walk to her bathroom down her hallway. You walked through rows of like filing cabinets that had stamping up stuff in it I mean, and, and scrapbooking stuff and paper and all kinds. Of, I mean, she just had everything and anything you wanted. I got a ton of stuff for like no money. Um, 
I got there like two minutes before she was closing. So it made me angry because I got like two minutes of shopping done. And she's like, well, I have to close because I have an appointment. Which made me mad, you know, because oh, I think I'm going to put this across the middle. Um, it made me mad because, you know, I really, really wanted to stay in shop. But I got dies. I got letter dies. Like the individual little dies that do individual letters. Um, a whole entire basket full of every alphabet and all the numbers, capital and small, for five bucks. So I was like just odd. But I did get quite a few little things. And I need to start using more of my dies and stuff. I've got a ton of dies that... It's not that I don't use them. I just... I never remember to use them. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm looking for... I have this teeny tiny little pink. Yes, I do. Well, I'm the type of person that I think that like everybody has their specialty. Everybody has their thing that they do. Um, so that's like, I'll go back to like April's cover and I'm going, <gasps> I love her cover, but I want one. Well, you know, if she wants something I do, I'm all about trading. Um, and doing that, I just think there's so much we could benefit from if we work together as a community versus, you know, Oh, I'm better than you, or I can do this better than you. I'm just not that type of person. I just, I, I think, you know, that's sad that the craft community can't work together more. I think, you know, sort of be more united and I don't know. Oh, there's something you do. Everybody has something. So I just sort of, you know, play it safe over here in my own little world, I guess. Because I just, I'm too leery. I just, I don't want a mess and all of that. I like, I like my little peaceful... You know, come and have a good time and, you know, walk away and I feel better. If I get to, you know, come and craft and I walk away and I'm stressed, then there's not a reason for me to craft because, you know, crafting is my stress relief. I know, right, Kath? That's... Okay, now I'm going to use my, let's see, where did I put my little tag? Oh, you guys, let's see, which one did I, okay, that's in the back one. So one of these I will do here. And I decided I'm not going to do a whole lot to it because I don't want to take away from the card. Yep, there you go. I'm going to try to use our glitter glue. Sometimes it works for me and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. I think it's so pretty. I thought about putting a little pink one on top, but I don't want to take away from the little, nope, I don't want to take away from the little circles. So see, I just added a little bit of lace across the top and it just adds a little bit of dimension to it. And then you can always write on the back or, you know, it does, don't it? I love it. They look like little bitty doll colors. 
Oh, Lori. Oh, I want to go. I love estate sales. They're my favorite. So I'm put that in there. And then I'm going to find one of my... Oh, I got my card over here I wanted to use. I don't know if I want to use... That is a... Do this. I'm trying to see if I got one with the bird. Where's the one with the bird? I don't know, but this one goes more earthy. It's more earth toned. So let's do this. Um, let me find my pink ribbon. My room is just going every which direction here. It does. I know. See, there you go. I'm on my way. Let's see. George, you're right. Ooh, there you go. There you go. You'll have to do a group chat with all of us. Take us right along with you. go make sure you share we want to see i got first dibs on everything lori i'm lori's favorite see she didn't deny it okay what do we want to put on here um i don't want to put too much because of the design of it but i almost feel like Oh, you know what might be pretty? Remember, you want that Lori. I'm holding the Lori ransom. I actually think I'm going to use one of these because I don't really want to take away, but I want to add something to it. Oh, yes, it does, Edwin. Well, get some sleep, dear. And stay safe and healthy. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, look, Edwin's got a fan club. <laughs> oh. So see, I put a little bitty doily in the corner. And I could have made it a tuck, but I really don't want to do that because I think it, it's too much. And then I think I'm going to use this one. Maybe. We'll see. I think I'm going to use a little lace butterfly in the corner. Let's see. Yep, 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 I do. Yep, 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 I do. So see, and it's got the little lace butterfly in the corner. Which I like. I like the little lace butterfly in the corner. What do you guys think? I think it needs a little, a little shimmy, shimmy. Hold on. Let's make it cute. Elizabeth's here. Yeah, just missed Edwin. Edwin just left. 
and you took his place. Yes, I'm blinging it. Well, Elizabeth, I finally broke down, and I bought my 9 by 12 jelly plate and all that, and a new roll. I brought a new brayer because my brayer was getting really bad. It was, like, coming loose on the ends. It was driving me crazy. Bitty one for its head. I know, right, Elizabeth? I'm ready to jump on board. I don't like the little face one. I don't like it there. I just like those two. What do you think? Too much? Too little? Yep, I've got the little one, and I've been using it like crazy, but I wanted the big one, so I got the big one. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try something here, and we'll see. It may not work, and if it does, then I, then I just lost it, but it's okay. I'm not done yet. Well, if I ruin this tag, then I'll just redo it, I guess. Can anybody guess what I'm doing? April, go home. You already are home. I'd send you home if you weren't. She doesn't ever say anything unless it's smart. No, I gave her a little collar. How cute, right? What do you think? I think it's about putting a little pearl right there on her little collar. Don't encourage her. Yes, go give me thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Lots of thumbs up. You know, I love that song. So you leave that song alone. I like that song. And I would have thought that was genius. My husband loves music. He is a music connoisseur. Like, I mean, can quote trivia, music trivia, and, and listens to a song. Oh, and I gave her a little pearl. I gave her a little pearl. Really? You're supposed to thumb up at the top, guys. There we go. So it's a doctored little tag, and she does have a little pearl color. I almost feel like the little pearl needs to be pink, though. It drives me crazy. But it's okay. And slide that down into the po Oh, I want her little necklace to show. Ah, uh, I like it. It looks so pretty, and it adds more fluffy stuff at the top. And you can't never have enough fluffy stuff. Oh, did I mention she's full of it, you guys? Okay, let's see. What else do I want to do? What else do I want to do? 
Mm, still haven't used that. And I got that. I got this. And I got that. Hold on. I'm looking. Seeing what I think I'm coming up with. And I started this page. And now I'm cutting it out. So that was sort of a waste of time. You guys are so funny. Some of these jokes I don't get because I'm too young. Uh, yeah, that's what she's full, full of, Catherine. I don't think smarts was on the top of my mind when I said that. You can come in and say hi. You don't want to say hi? Look, come here, look. I gave her a collar and a pearl. Wow. Isn't it cute? And that was my daughter, Caitlin. Wolf paws. And Giggles is totally back to normal, being as rotten and horrid as ever. But Kate, come down to say hi. Actually, I think she came down to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. Giggles is upstairs. I think she's just chilling or whatever. She's back to her normal self so oh my gosh you guys seriously now y'all know i've been doing the sales and stuff do you know i got like 15 messages today from people wanting to know if i was doing a sale friday because they were waiting i'm like Couldn't believe it. I was sort of shocked. Um, I actually think I'm going to put this here. Let's see. My little tag. Where did my baby tags go? I was like, y'all just don't stop, do you? If I do it right on the edge. So I'm going to glue this right on the very edge, 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 edge. But I can't believe it. Yeah, uh, like 15 meshes. And they all wanted fabric. I'm like, is there that many people out there wanting fabric? I mean, did I miss something? And this is one of the little calendars. It's really cute. And here's my little bird. So I think I'm actually going to... Let's see. Ooh, I don't want to use that. That's too big. Well, I think a lot of people hear about it afterwards, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm like, tell everybody everywhere that I know. So it's like, and I say something ahead of time. So it's not like I wait till the last minute and then just throw it out there. But no, but some of them that text me were like one of the, some of the people that bought it the other day. And I'm going, plans you bought. 35 yards, 35 fat quarters. Do you really need that much? But then I can't say that because I'm the one selling it and I have it all. So. Thank you, April. Shh. 
No, there's a you would be surprised. There's a lot of a lot of the people that buy are actually in my group. So and I mean watch during the week and stuff. So I mean I there's a couple that you know maybe come or go. Um but most everybody I think usually, you know, pretty much sticks around for the long haul, but you got yours too? Yay! Did you like it? Now I'm not gonna decorate the bottom of this because I don't want to break, you know, rip my paper trying to get it in and out. But if I can get and my little birdie will slip right in there. Go, 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 birdie. Go, birdie, go. There he did. He went. My birdie went. And so I'm going to unfold. Exactly, April. Oh, Catherine, you missed it. Oh, thanks, you Marty. Yep, there was tons of stuff. And like I said, I'm going to use some washi. So with using washi, I do run some glue down underneath of it. Good night, sweetie. Get feeling better. Take lots of pain medicine. A lot. Yeah. Sweet dreams, Deet. Catherine, you... You should have seen the calico fabric and stuff I sold. And I had some new vintage cards. And I had, let's see, what all did I? Oh, I had wallpaper, Catherine. Wallpaper. Some of it was from England. Some of it was from Canada. And it was vintage wallpaper. So, yep, I had that. I know. I actually have some left, I think. I may throw I may try to um throw some in the next sale. I don't know. I think I have I don't have that much because I think I had like 14. I did like 20 by 20, 20 by 24. Um 24 by 20. Uh, let's see. 20 20 by 24, I think is what the I did 2 feet by the width of the the wallpaper. And I think I had like 16 sets of it or 14 sets of it to sell. And I was really close. I'm going to sell what? What am I going to sell now? Not now. I don't think I'm going to sell Saturday. They want me to, but I just, I, I think I've sold enough for a while, you guys. I feel like I'm like... You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that person that like takes everybody's money. Math is not my strong suit. Actually, you would be surprised. I'm pretty good in math. I'm trying to do a journal in math at the same time. I, but yeah, I had 16 sections of it. And I but I can't remember exactly how much. Um how much that I have left is what I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's vintage. Oh, you should see the stuff that I had. It was gorgeous. It was per day. It was all flowery. One of it was like embossed. So see, then that's got that nice, pretty. So see, I used my washi. So that pretty pink washi on there. And I mean, that just adds to it. It goes great. And I that strengthens that fold. So it'll be less likely to tear over time. Okay, Lori, what's your serious question? What's your serious question? I'm listening, honey. Speak. Lori's got the floor. Shh, everybody. Um, the best thing I could tell you is to cover it with like Mod Podge would be probably your best bet. Or what you could do is get clear contact paper and put clear contact paper over top of it. Okay. I think I'll put my card on here. Because it's sort of like that, like that. 
So there's a flap. There's a flap. You going to bed? Yeah. Okay, night, sweetie. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could try both and just see what happens. Um, Mod Podge, I'm sure would. The thing with Mod Podge is, you know, to put a nice coat on it, um, you want to make sure that you let it set. You're going to want to let it set, you know, for, I would let it set like overnight or so before you mess with it. Just make sure it's dry because it does um, get tacky. That wasn't Giggles. That was her sister. Um, Giggles is upstairs. She's feeling better. Um, she doesn't have a fever anymore or, you know, feel bad or anything. She's pretty much back to normal, but she's still, you know, sleepy and sort of, you know, that after lazy when you don't feel good. But yeah, um, then when you Mod Podge, you can buy, if you look when, um, if you look when you buy your Mod Podge, they also have an aerosol spray that is a, a that is a sealer. Um, hold on. I think I have one. Hold on. Okay. When you do Mod Podge, they actually have a sealer. Like this is a clear acrylic sealer. Um, this is matte, but they have a gloss too. Um, so you can spray that on it and it helps seal it so it doesn't get that stickiness. I don't know what happened to oh my wallpaper's up there. I'll have to get it down in a second. Let me glue this in and I'll get my wallpaper down. How's that? Um how do I want to know? I want to put this over this way. This over this way. Oh, you know what? Where did I do that? That was over there. Let me go into a different signature. Huh, cool. Yeah, I love old wallpaper. And the one I have, um, the well, the two I had that I sold, and like I said, I don't, I don't even know how much I have left. I would have to unroll the rolls and remeasure, or look in my book where I write down all my sales, um, because I don't remember off the top of my head. Because if I try to remember all that kind of stuff, I do know that I have a Ranger order that's on its way. That has some different stuff this time. Knock on wood if I'm lucky. Um, because I haven't got my order telling me exactly what they're shipping yet or not. Because sometimes if it's on back order, then I don't get it. That's just the life of buying something from somebody else and not making it yourself. Um, but if they have them and I'm able to get them, I, I'll have a couple sets of the field note stamps too. Which I'm excited to get those because I want those. Okay. And then, since that's that way, I'm going to fold this this way. I'm going to run washi up this, too, because I just like protecting the, when they're folded. And it doesn't have to be everywhere. It's just enough so that washi doesn't, you know, tear. Gosh, I love this washi. It's my favorite. Did you order some round sponge replacements? Um, yes, I am tallying up the total of those. They are different. Now, and I will tell you why, just before, because you can buy the round round ones like you buy at Hobby Lobby, and you get in a pack. Um, oh, nice, Lori. Lucky duck. Like I said, my, one of mine came from the UK, and the other one came from Canada. So, um, but when you buy the sponge, the sponge replacements whether they're round or the rectangle from Hobby Lobby, you know, you get like that pack and you get like, what is it? 12 in a pack or something like that. I can order them that way. And, but they're more expensive. I can get them cheaper if I buy them in bulk. And if I buy them in bulk, they come, but they're not in a package. I'll have to separate them and put them in like a baggie because they come in one big, huge bag if that makes a difference to you or not. Um, 
it doesn't really bother me. If I can get them cheaper, I don't really care about the packaging. Um, so you'll have to let me know if you care about whether it has that plastic packaging or not. Um, it doesn't bother me, like I said. If I can get it cheaper the other way, then I will. If that's the case, I can get the round, um, the actual sponges, the round sponges, or the rectangular sponges. I can also get the the round handles. Um, you know, instead of me just sitting here blathering, I could just show you if I can find mine. But my desk is a, a, a horrid mess at this point in life. I have everything and anything. You guys, seriously, I can't find my mess. It, it's a mess. I have to clean it. But I haven't stopped all week, and I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, you guys know what the little round handles that fit the little round sponges are. Um, and for the life of me, I can't find one. And it's here because I just used it. But I, like, pulled all this stuff out everywhere, and now it's just here. Okay, anyway, I'm not even going to say. You guys can see it piling up out. Um, but the handles, yeah, I know, right? Um, but the handles, I can get those a lot cheaper too. If I order them in bulk, they come, you know, just in a bag. They're not in a package, um, but they come in a bag. But I can get them like a lot cheaper because you're not paying for all the packaging and stuff. So there's a thought too. Just so everybody knows. And again, you know, that just sort of depends on, you know, what everybody thinks or what they like oh ideally I would love to get the handle for every small every one of my mini inks um for the round ones and I like to get rectangular ones for every single one I would love that um so I wouldn't have to change the sponges in and out that drives me crazy but okay so what time it's 10 35 so I'm sort of Leaning on, let's see, we did a pocket there, and I did a pocket there. Okay, so there's a pocket in the last one, pocket in this one, right? Yes. So, I need to do something in here. Oh, maybe like right there in the front. Maybe not a pocket. What do I want to do? I want to do another pocket. Yeah, I like doing things in thirds for whatever reason, and when it comes to pockets and stuff like that. I went in. Oh, did you see it, Lori? Look. <gasps> there you go. Oh. I know. I know. I know. Let's see. What do I want to do with this one? Um, let's do something different make a tag a little taggy tuck instead of a pocket yes 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 please let me find my tool on yep yeah, they do Kathy my problem is and I mean if if I'm working with just me it doesn't bother me so much um Um, yes, Kathy, yes, they do. They fit underneath there. And what I was going to say is, sorry, I was trying to read all the comments. Um, um, and they work and that works great. The reason, and I'll tell you, the reason why I would like to have more than one handle is just like with doing the videos and stuff like that, I spend a lot of time pulling off, putting back, pulling off, putting back and all that. It would just make it easier for me. It's not about, you know, because normally, see, I just love this little tag that the little tool is like, it really just doesn't need anything else. And this is the bird and then I can tuck stuff into it. So let's, um... Oh, a belly band. A belly band. What do I want to use as a belly band? Um, okay, let me 
check my measurements. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, April. Um, we should all send toward the end. No, no, no. A belly. Yeah, I'm gonna do a hidden, a hidden one though. I like doing hidden stuff. Lori's just silly. Yeah. Yep, there is lots of ways that um, you can do it and make different handles. Um, if you look, they have like the little wooden handles and, you know, they have the really small table legs you can use. I mean, there's a lot of different alternatives. Um, you can take uh, one of the regular, like even the ceramic handles. And they have the screws in them like you use for cabinets and stuff. Well, hold on. I'll... I have a bunch on my desk. I'll unscrew one. Well, if I can get it unscrew, hold on. Like this. You know, the little ceramic knobs. And you can cut wood and screw through it and put it on there. Um, and then cut the screw off where it's embedded in there. And then just staple Velcro on it and use it too. I have those vintage knobs on my desk. But my, my desk is like a 1935 shaker style desk. It's like this huge massive brute that even if it's empty, weighs like 150 pounds. It's And it's, oh my gosh, every bit of, I think it's like five feet long by two and a half feet wide or so, maybe three. And it's got little cubbies in each corner that have little bitty drawers you can store stuff in. It is, it's huge. So it's got like four drawers on the top and a filing cabinet drawer and a bunch of drawers up and down the side. I love it. I. It was a Goodwill find and it was 25 cents. And I'm with you, Lori. I don't, I don't have time to do it. I can have my husband do it. <laughs> That's what that would be the way that I would get it is have my husband do it. Okay, let's see. I have that scrap piece of paper that I cut earlier. So let me see what I can do with that. So I'm not to waste. Ooh, that one's got butterflies. Let me see if I cut it wide and out. Yep, it'll work. It is. Well, anyway, my desk was a goodwill find. My husband found it. And he's like, hey, are you interested in this desk? This thing was a brute to get home. But I'm like, yes. They wanted $25 for it. Um, and my husband's over 50. And um, well, he'll be 57 in July. But um, in Ohio, uh, a lot of the good, well, I mean, a lot of Goodwills have sales. You know, they have like, Saturday or Sunday sales where you get 50% off. Well, he got 50% off. And then our Goodwill, in return, um, on certain days, they have like 50% off for what they call their golden people, which are what they consider, you know, people over the age of 50, they consider their goldens. Um, so he actually got it 50% off. And then turn around and they gave him 50% off for being a golden. So my $25 desk, I paid $6.25 for. It was crazy. That day I bought two Queen Anne's chairs. They were like brand new. Um, they were vintage, but they were like brand new. And I got them for $12.50 a piece. It was like all crazy. I mean, I was just like beside myself. I was like, let's go get more at that price. <laughs> yeah. 
Being 75% off. Let's go buy some more. Okay. So you got my butterflies on here. Let me ink them up. And this will go perfect because we've got that, the bird, the really dark bird around it on the card. Okay, so let's see. We've got that color pink there. Hold on, I'm contemplating. I want to put some pink on here. I need to put pink on here. Um. Hold on, I'm contemplating, guys. I am processing. I'm not just sitting here. Dwaddling. Oh, I don't want that. I'm not sure what I want to put on it yet. I guess I could glue it in and then come back later and add whatever I like. Hi, Beverly. How are you? That is so funny. We actually didn't. I actually had to call my dad to bring his truck because we couldn't fit everything into ours. So I actually had to have my dad's truck too. So we actually weren't setting it on top, but we got enough stuff that day. We could have been. Awesome. Well, welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I try to remember names, but sometimes they slip me if I don't see them all the time. So please forgive me if you've been here before. We're just putting a belly band in. And this is our My Dearest Jane journal. Which is slowly becoming one of my favorite. I still think, oh, you know what? I can do that. Slowly becoming one of my most favorite journals. But then again, I loved Jane Eyre, so it makes sense. And we're like a big old family, so feel free to come on in and join in and chat away and make new friends. Say hi to old ones. Just steer clear of the troublemakers. There's always troublemakers in there, Lori. See? Always troublemakers. Not really. She's a sweetie. Lori's not a troublemaker. She's just Lori. And I should use Fabri-Tac over there because I don't like the way that's holding. So, yep, I'm going to end up going back through there with Fabri-Tac. I sure did, Lori. I'm starting to think, consider you an old friend. Okay, I'm going to flip this around upside down. I probably can use this. I just need to get up under here and adhere it towards the end a little bit better because for whatever reason it didn't do. It didn't get in there like it should. I do. Some of you guys are old school now. Some of you guys are here. I'm used to having, if something happens, you guys go back to regular schedules after all this mess. I won't know what to do when half of you disappear. That's what I told my husband. I said, I don't know who's here just because of, you know, they're off right now and they're looking for a place to do or the people that'll be here afterwards, I said, but some of these people I'm going to miss. 
because I've just gotten used to you guys. You know, if you miss a day, you're like, oh, I wonder if they're okay. Okay. There we go. Flip it around. Put our little bird one in there. Our little bird tag. We did this. Let's see. What do I want to do with this one, guys? Oh, you're okay. We just call Lori doesn't care what you call her as long as you call her for dinner. So you don't gotta worry about it. Um let me grab my whole pump. Oh. Well, it's not a whole punch. This is my crocodile punch, but that's what I'm using. I'm gonna book a hole in my card. Now, to reach out and discover where my little hole reinforcers are. Oh my. Hold on. I know I got a little bit Oh, Kathy, you're too sweet. Oh, I know. I know, right? Lori, you have no idea. Do you see them? You probably do. The ones I just pulled out. You guys are so funny. They are. I get lose it. I've got stuff everywhere. So they probably are here somewhere, like right under my nose, and I can't find them because, you know. I have too much stuff in the way. And this I'm going to tie at the top instead of the bottom. Or instead of looping it through just to... So it sort of has... So what I do is I always tie it like that to make sure it's going to look right first. And then I undo it very carefully, holding the spot where I tied them so I know it's going to look right. Sort of hold it there. And then I'll grab my fabric tack And right above that hole reinforcer, I'll just put a smear of fabric tack where it's going to catch the knot. That way it sort of adheres it and it stays that way so it doesn't work loose over time since I'm only going to tie it through once. And then pull it down. And then that fabric tack will stick to that knot so it stays permanent. And I'm working off the edge of my screen again, you guys. You can tell I'm working my way off my desk. <laughs> and then I'll come through and I'm just going to trim these up so they're a little straighter. If that's possible. Actually. I will fold them and cut them on an angle. And that goes in there. Then we have our little. Yep, yeah, that's what I did. I glued underneath there. At the knot. So it'll hold it. And then this flips up. And you can journal inside. And then just the pressure of holding that. Will keep it down. So then you got. Your own little messaging spot. And it's a belly band. So there's that. So let's flip through and see what we've got so far. Just trying to keep track of everything. We got the front. Of course, we got our tag. And I want to do this tag for in there. So, And it's going to have to be pretty basic other than, you know, a ribbon at the top. And I think I actually want to use some tool. I like how that looked.
Yep, Kathy, I usually do under there. Um, I don't want to pull them from the back and pull them through, but when I tie them like that, I do. I don't know if, like, I did it as you were saying it or not. I don't know. See, I love how that tool just sort of blends in with the whole coloring of everything. I love that. And that's going to be pretty plain, so it can just sort of tuck under there and be out of the way. I'm going to make sure it's not going to buckle in that. Yeah, see? That may not work in there. Okay, let's hold that to the side. We've got a few. So I can put some lace down this side. Yep, I can do that. So, um... Let's do this with some some of the just tan color. And I just like to twist. I'm going to twist in the middle and then fold it up into a V shape. And this I'm actually just going to hold over top my hole. Oh, okay. And then I always like, I always staple it twice because I'm worried it'll come loose. And then that'll just, that way that'll go into that pocket a little better because it doesn't have that knot. But you still have that appearance of, you know, having a knot at the top. And then since this is here, I'm going to run some of this ribbon down the side because I just, there's none of this ribbon in the front cover. And I love this ribbon. Lace. Lace. It's not ribbon, it's lace. So I'm just going to run, let's see, a little bitty bit, a little bitty bit. You guys are so funny. And I'm going to put just to the edge, right to the edge of the roses. And I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on there. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, Beverly. We're trying. Bit by bit. And this is My Dearest Jane. Um, it is a digital kit. It's available in my Etsy store, which is done by Dorothy. And it is available there. I would. Mine would have. That is so sweet. And you will find Beverly. We are just a big, huge family here. Um, so feel free to talk about your family and your kids and all that because we all just... <laughs> that's funny it's okay you just call her anything as long as you call her for dinner i'm telling you okay i'm like working halfway off my camera here i'm running out of space here and i'm gonna use a little bit of my fan lace right there which i think gives it just that right push i love it my husband did dinner today you guys Yes, my husband did dinner. Does anybody want to guess what we had for dinner? Yeah. Just see if you can guess. Let's see if you can guess. And look at it. I love this lace right here, guys. It is probably my favorite lace ever. I need to add so much to the side. And even the back, it's all flipped over. Nope. Nope. Worse than Subway, Lori. Worse than Subway. It is possible. He did white castles. It's blurry for you. Can you see it now? Is that better? White castles. You heard me. Yes. I'm like, seriously, I am 40 years old. 
I can't be eating White Castles. No, I love it. And where we did that over there, we'll pull this up. This will slide right in there because there's not a knot there. We'll just take it right in there. And then we've got our little lace to the side. So it's sort of decorated next. It took some a little bit away from the Lori. <laughs> I know, right, Elizabeth? I was like, Ooh. yep, I like it. Okay, so we've got that done. And we've got stenciling. And I want to leave some of the pages because, I mean, obviously if somebody gets it, you know, then they're going to want to put some stuff in it. So there's that. And I would normally I would stencil on some of these pages. But with the stenciling here and stuff, I think these pages just add that adds a little bit to it. And then there's our deli paper and our calendar page with our Lori pocket on the back. Lori pocket! I'm um, on our calendar and our tag. Seriously, guys, stenciling. And I don't want to, you know, I, it's like, what point do you go, you know, you don't want to overdo it? Do you know what I mean? And there's another page there for journaling. Another calendar page. So I need to do something to one of these calendar pages. Um, maybe I could add this onto there. Or onto here. What do you guys think? this on here and maybe do some of the pearls across the bottom. I don't really want to do anything to this card because it'll take away from the lace on the frame. Yeah. I was just like a little surprised. He's been cooking off and on this week. He's been handling the food off and on this week. So we managed to have pizza rolls. Yes, pizza rolls. And I was like, seriously. But the kids love it. I mean, the kids are like, oh, let dad cook. You know, because I make meals and, you know, they like, they like that extra junk food that dad caters. Him. Although he does do some mean ribs now. The man can cook ribs. Or anything on the grill. He's just an excellent griller. And smoker. Oh my gosh. Well, I think I'm going to do it as a flip just because of the way this page is. Um, I think. I think I am now. I thought about what I thought about what I was going to do. For the reason I glued it the way that I did. And I'm going to go over here to this side right at the top. Well, I'm going to go down to test the whole reinforcer here. And glue that. Let that set up and hold. You guys, you're going to go in the corner again. Last time you guys did this, we lost people into the corner for days. Poor Carol just got loose. I just let her out yesterday because apparently it kept throwing her into the thing every time she logged on. I know, right? It's a little baby pocket, a tuck pocket. So let me see what I got in my little tucks here because I have some. I know we had some little pockets. I thought we had some little tags left. I do have a little tag. Oh, and he'll just fit. How cute, a little tucky tag. Oh, good night, sweetheart. Oh, are you in, I'm putting this tag in and then I'm gonna be done, guys. So just for you ones that are all sleepy. Oh, Catherine, you're a silly woman. 
Take care of those. Stay safe and healthy. You guys. You guys are silly. Lori always takes off and leaves early. Okay, so where is my... I'm not going to put a lot on this. Um, I'm going to just a little bit. I think I'm going to put one of the little... Let me center it a little bit better. I'm gonna put one of the little one of the little lace butterflies. I think I'm gonna put some pink under it though. I think it needs some pink. I think it needs some pink. And then I'll add some glue to it. Oh, are you leaving Beverly? Good night, sweetheart. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Those lace butterflies, I have no idea, my dear. I have had them for, I don't know. All I know is when I seen them and I bought them, I bought like 12 packs of them and I've never used them. Um, Connie, I just put a cream piece of cardstock um, in the front and then I just put part of our Lori with some notebook pages and then we made our little tag and tucked in there and that's for the front and the back I haven't did anything for the pocket yet it just we did a bag with our Lori and then a little tag what did I do what did I do with my butterfly I'm gonna put some art glitter glue on here and hope it'll stick him down a little bit better make him a little bit more permanent And then I'm going to put him right over top the pink. Just so that'll help him show a little bit. I need my, need my little rag. There he is with the pink. It looks like, oh, wow, the... Um, the only thing I like about our glitter glue and the main reason I use it is it dries super fast. Um, which is why I like using it, especially in videos. Um, you know, I like using it in videos because it dries fast. It just speeds things up. Where if I use like Eileen's tacky glue, you know, you have to sit there and give it time to glue. Even the fast tack. Um, the Eileen's does. You have to give it time. Where our glitter glue doesn't take that. And it doesn't tend to um, it doesn't tend to warp the pages as much. But yeah, I, I like Fabri-Tac. And you'll see me use Fabri- I do use art glitter glue if I'm doing small stuff. Um, but I do like my Fabri-Tac. Now, I'm, I'm a Fabri-Tac girl. And you'll see me use that for everything. So that'll stick out like that. So we'll have a tag on back of a tag, which I think is sort of cute. Okay, so see, we've got that and that. There's another Lori. I do too, Lori. I love the way it dries. I like it for everything, um, but I do not like it for fabric or 
And there's our little tag with our little lace collar. It's so cute. And a little pocket. And there's our playing card. I just added a few little colors to go along with her little color. Works cute. And let's see. Then we got some blank pages and we got our tuck. There's another Lori. And another page. And there's some blank pages because we want writing pages, obviously. There's a little tuck with a little card. And this is a little calendar that flips out to write on. And a rose page and a doily and a rose page and a little tab. And our Lori bookmark. Yay, Lori bookmark. And a page. There's Lori's ribbon and our little calendar page. Another one that we sprayed. It's a blank page. So we do have some blank pages through there that we need to throw some more stuff on. And there's another Lori. Yeah, you can. Um, you can use it. I, I will be the first to tell you, and this is just me, <laughs> and, you know, my girls here will tell you, everybody has a preference of what they like or, you know, what they work with. Some people don't like the strings that Fabri-Tac causes. Um, some people, you know, there's different things that people don't like about certain things. So everybody's going to have their personal favorite. Um, and then there's our calendar and, of course, our... Did I glue it in? Oh no, I hate when it glues in. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there it went. It just caught in the corner. My Fabri-Tac caught it. That doesn't usually ever happen, but hold on. It's just that one, there it went. That one teeny tiny little corner. That's crazy. So there's a little calendar and our little tag. And all of the digital po components of this come from the My Dears Jane kit. Um, so, there's that. So we do have some more stuff we need to do. And then, of course, there's our tag flip. I love doing the little tag flips like that. And there's another, I love the green page some lace and our little Lori tuck with our tag and it needed just that hand of lace on the bottom and I think it did really good and then another page and our little tuck and then we've got our back here so we do have to come up with something back here I may do like a decorated I have this I thought about putting this in there um, just because you could journal on it and it would look really cute. Maybe put some lace along the bottom. Um, I don't know if it'll fit in there or not. It may be a little too long to fit in there. We shall see. Yep, it's a little long. So, let's see. Let me try to straighten it up a little bit. What I may do, because of the way that we sewed these, I may actually end up cutting them in two and putting some lace on each side of them and sort of fold them in half and then, you know, put some lace on them and just use them back in there just as a, you know, fold them in half like this. But I'll cut them apart and throw some lace on them and then they can throw back in there just for, you know, a little writing space and then maybe do a couple decor a decorative index card to throw back in there with it. So I'm putting that there so I remember. So we'll have that to do. And I may go through and do, because the tabs are towards the back of the of each one. Um, so I may go through and add three more tabs. Um, like put one here. And that'll be there. And then let's see, that one's there. Yeah, so we can put one over here and then put another one in the middle. Oh, uh, well, put another one here. And then another one in the middle. So I may put three more tabs.
So I think I'll put some of theirs and I'll do that back there and put some tabs on it. I may do that tomorrow um, during Friday Night Live um, and just maybe a few other odds and ends. I do want to glue some lace across the bottom. Um, I do want to make a few altered paper clips to, across the top because I like using those, you know, if you have a certain place you're trying to keep track of. Um, so yeah, um, I'll probably do maybe three paper clips, throw some lace on it, do the pages in the back and three more tabs, which probably isn't going to take a whole lot of time tomorrow, guys. Um, and she's going to be done. Uh, cause you know, I don't want to, I may do some stenciling on the pages. Oh, I have, you know what? I would have to actually sit and down and count to know how many I've made. But now I will show you um, a project I was working on this morning. I have a couple itty bitties. Oh, it is. It is, girl. It is a chunky monkey. Lori is chunky. It, I need to go back and instead of my dearest Jane, put my dearest Jane and in parentheses, put Lori next to it, I guess. She's just overtook this little journal. And then there's the front. Of course, we have the Tide. Um, it's a traveler's notebook style. So when these get full, you can take those out. And they are sewn with a pamphlet stitch. Each signature is. Um, but they're tied in. So you can take them out and replace them. Um, and, of course, that's the front. And then there's the back. It's just sort of plain because I like a plain back to set things on, you know, when I'm writing. So, yeah, it is coming along. And Lori is hold on let me see how chunky she actually is oops if i can turn my ruler the right way Lori is at this point in time three inches with nothing more added and that's i mean that's i'm, I'm not squishing it to i don't like doing that because you just smash everything so yeah she's setting it at three inches so i mean but she's not super chunky i mean she doesn't look like alligator mouth you know what i mean she just looks like she's full I know. I love it. I think she's gorgeous. And, you know, her little tabs sticking out now. And, like, you know, her tabs with the green on it. Well, that one's behind the ribbon, so you really can't see it. But, you know, the little green. So we'll put three more in there. That'll put a little bit more green on the side. And then down here, I don't know if I want to use. I don't know. I may not put any down through there. I may just leave, you know, whatever hangs out, hangs out. Um, yeah. I love it. I do, too. Um, I, I, I'm real leery to say that I've not, I've not seen anybody do this that I can remember. Um, but now I'm going to say this, and I'll do honesty. I have watched a lot of you know, tutorials and things like that. I don't think I can recollect anybody doing the ribbon spine like this. Um, charms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any charms. Sorry. Yep. In this middle, Miss Jane has a charm and it says live, laugh, love. And she also has the little car pink carnation. And that's in this signature and this signature she has a little hand and i put this in the middle of all it, it goes in my center signature of every journal i do and it's a little hand and it says handcrafted and i just like putting that in there because it's just one of those things that's one of my things i do and so i have a bunch of those little hands and if you ever get a journal for me they all have handcrafted in the middle of them and then it's got the little key with a little diamond in it in the center and then the back, the last signature has this really cool, like, little pink crystal um, on a ring. And there's little brass rings around it. And then it also has a butterfly wing. So it has those charms in it. Um, I will do this. And then I am going to 
Um, I know. I love the little hands. Um, I bought them a long time ago off of Etsy. I don't know if you type in, you know, handcrafted charms, if you might be able to find some. Um, I bought them because I used to crochet and stuff like that. And I would put, you know, little ta gift tags on it. And so I always did that just to sort of remind people that it was handcrafted. That was just sort of my thing. I think, you know, if it's hand, you take the time to handcraft it, you know, people at least need to be told that it's handcrafted. That's just a, one of my pet PV things. Um, but I do want to, I'm going to put on down the spine. I do have some pinky crystals and I got this really gorgeous gem. Um, plus all the, but I'm, I'm thinking sort of ribbon lace just sort of goes better with it. Um, I want to do a tassel for the spine and have my pretty green thread ready, but I'm going to put it on, um, a clip. So it will clip on the top. Um, and you know, it'll be there, but you have, you can take it off if you want to. Um, just in case you want to remove it. And technically, if you don't want it to be on the top, you could, you know, gather these three ribbons together and actually clip it around the ribbons and let it, you know, dangle down the ribbon if you wanted to. I mean, so you have an option of what you want to do there, um, depending on, you know, what you want to do. Or if you want to put it on the front. Or, you know, I have did my um, last journal I did. I clipped on like this and hung them down where you could remove it off the thing. Okay. The rest of the month, um, I, the rest of the month, <laughs> the rest of the month, I have a couple of little projects that I'm going to do. Um, you know, just a couple small type things that'll be because I'm all about doing journals and you guys know that I love doing journals. Um, absolutely love doing them. And, but a lot of people don't have time to do a whole journal. So I probably will do an altered file folder, maybe a couple small, you know, a couple small things, not anything extremely, ma you know, major. Um, I had a couple people ask me if I would do a TN that was sort of naked uh, per se as in, um, you know, it had digitals and stuff in it. It had, you know, really nice decorations and all that. But it didn't have the lace. It didn't have the ribbons. It was something you literally could throw in. Because, I mean, this is a traveler's notebook. And I realize it's a traveler's notebook. And, you know, but I wouldn't throw this in my purse. Uh, you know, I don't know if you would, but this wouldn't go in my purse. I mean, I would just wouldn't throw it in my purse. Um, no, it'll be... It, it An altered file folder is sort of... Is sort of like is sort of like that. Yeah, you can find bigger hands, um, the larger ones. Wendy, I like the really, really small ones. Just, you know, you're getting your point across. It's in there, but it's not like overtaking the project. That's why I like the little ones. Um, but yeah, we will, we are going to do a lap book, but when we do a lap book, it'll probably be later on in the, um, one of the months we're doing a lap book. Um, so you know, and then of course, you know, the beginning of June, we've got our secret garden one that's going on. So lots of little things. Um, I had a couple of people ask me if I would do uh, several videos doing like my snippets, but doing them like in different colors and different themes. Um, different styles, like one that uses words and one that uses pictures, you know, and some that uses lace and some that just uses fabric or paper, uh, you know, so I don't know. I may do a couple like that. I mean, I know everybody loves the snippets, um, but, you know, it just sort of, de it sort of depends. If you have any ideas, feel free to contact me, um, email me, my email's on there, or Facebook message me if you Facebook message me. Or, you know, just throw it up in chat now if you have an idea. Um, but, yeah, and I may do, when we do our lab, our lab book, when we do the altered folder, I may do sort of a lab book style um, altered folder. They're really cute. Um, I used to do those with my kids. Um, and they basically, 
you need I know we're doing the lab book in the month we're doing the lab books and it's true she's laughing at me but I mean that is the truth I don't remember what month it is because I'm not looking at my calendar right now I'd have to pull it up on my phone I have it all wrote down Um, I would, ha hold on. I'm trying to pull it up. Um, I have to get to the group. Yeah. So see, you can find those and that's just something that I use. I mean, that's like I said, that's my personal statement. Um, that's just something that I do. It's not something that, you know, you don't feel like you have to do that. Um, okay, we will be doing the lap book, um, we'll be in November. It'll be in November. We're doing it with the family one. I do too, Connie. I really like it. And I think, you know, it's important to tell people that it's handcrafted. I think... Art doesn't get enough appreciation. Um, a lap book is basically, it is like a journal, but it's got a whole lot of flips and tucks. And it, if you, you can Google or Google, you can hit, do a YouTube search on lap books and sort of get a feel. It's basically a journal, but there's a lot of tucks and flips and flaps and um, it's sort of like if you think of a mini album that has a lot of flips and tucks and stuff. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Genevieve Designs, she does a lot of extensive mini albums that have flips and all that kind of stuff. It's basically a journal that does that. Oh, you're welcome. But before I go... I had been telling some of them about this, so. It's actually not as e it's not as hard as it as you think, Connie. Um, that it's a lot simpler than what it thinks because you literally build page by page. So it's not overwhelming. Um, let me move this out of the way because I don't want anything to get on it. Remember me, April, talking about I was getting some books? Yes, I promise. I will go through it just like I do my journals. It will be step by step. So you literally can go through the video and go play it, you know, for a minute and 30 seconds to see what I do and pause it. Yeah, Elizabeth, can you put a... Can you put a link through? So there's five of them. They all pretty much look the same, but this is what the covers look like. And they are old. I mean, you can tell these are from 1902. So, I mean, they are very worn, very vintage. Even the end things are worn, which I love um, because if they were in perfect condition, I wouldn't be able to do anything to them. Um, and the covers. They're so cool. Oh, my camera doesn't like it. Um, I love them. And they're all numbered because there was only a, a thousand copies made of this. Um, and there's this picture. And it's got the old vellum sheet in between them. And these are from 1902. Um, so, and some of them have different pictures in them. Some of them don't. But look at the end of this, you guys. Look at those pages. 
I'm like, oh, it's awesome. So, and I got five of them. So, and they are all Edgar Allan Poe. Um, they're his complete works. Like this is Eureka. Um, and there's different ones, but some of them are in worse shape than this. But this one, I, I, I just, I love them. So I think I'm actually, I bought them and I knew they were in bad shape. I knew they were falling apart and all of that. So I thought it would make it easier for me to dismantle um, and, you know, make them. So, you know, there's some that don't have any spine on them at all. So they're just covers. There's a couple where the covers are already like torn off of them because they're so old. So it's going to be pretty easy for me to like take them apart and do things. Yes, they are. It, I mean, they're huge. Which I mean, is just going to be, I, I love it. So it's going to make it easier for me to be able to take apart and, you know, do what I need to do to it. So, and then my husband's like, well, we need to get a regular copy then because these are just like, and I mean, the pages aren't even in there. Like, look how off their pages are. This is like a good quarter of an inch short. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. So I may have, I have to go through, I may in one of my auctions be, before we get there, um, be auctioning off some of the pages. Um, you know, so, but yeah, I love it. And I mean, I love that old worn. These are all from 1902, Elizabeth. And they are expensive. 1902. So I'm excited. And, and like one of them has, um, it has Eleanor and the Telltale Heart and the Pit and the Pendulum and um, Murders of the Rugmore. Yeah, all of those like that. So I'm so excited. So yes, I'm a big Poe fan. So I'm excited about it, but I wanted to show so you could see them. But yes, I am in love with these covers. I'm like, and I think I'm going to scan some of them. But because these are all 1902, I can technically make kits out of them. And I'm working on an Edgar Allan Poe kit. And I think I'm actually going to use scanned images of the covers that you can print out. Um, oh, you're fine, sweetie. Um, and actually, you know, of the spine. You know, especially all worn and torn and, you know, you like that. I love that. Um, so I think I'm actually going to scan copies of this that you can use as the cover of your journal. Um, so I think that's, you know, where you would cut these pages so you'd make your cover. Yeah, exactly. And you would cover your covers, you know, with whatever color paper. I'm going to use black for mine because, you know, that's it's Edgar Allan Poe. And then you can use these for their covers. So I'm super excited, but I wanted to share these. So um, with that, I will let you go because it is 1130. And I know a lot of you guys have places to go and things to do and going to bed and all of that. But yeah, there are five of them. This is, um, this one is in really, really good shape. Like I said, some of them have the covers and stuff off of them, but Yeah, I love, I have, I have been fascinated with Edgar Allan Poe um, since I was a child. So, yeah, I am just fascinated. I have tons of Edgar Allan Poe stuff. I mean, I have, um, well, I don't know what I did with it now. Oh, it's up there. I have the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe in this massive book um, that I've had forever and ever and ever. And it's just got read between me and my daughters and everywhere else. But Okay, you guys, it has been fun. Thank you for tuning in. Please stay safe. Be careful. Um, you know, it's it's bad out there. So be careful. Um, we will see you again tomorrow. Friday night is our PJ pajama party. Yay! Um, April's bringing the snacks. So, you know, just show up with your snack bowl and something to drink. And we will craft along and probably finish up the My Dearest Jane journal, which is amazing. We're finishing it up already. Um, and then, you know, maybe move on and do a couple simple things. Um, so you guys take care. I will see you tomorrow. I love each and every one of you. Um, thanks for your support. Thanks for being here and we will see you tomorrow.
tomorrow. Bye guys.